what annual installment will discharge a debt of rupees 4200 due in 5 years at 10% simple interest so here assume that you have taken a loan from the bank for a certain amount and that certain amount is due after 5 years and at 10% simple interest at the end of 5 years you will have to pay back an amount of 4200 so let's draw a time scale here to understand this better so let's say this is the time scale for 5 years so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is the first year this is the second year third fourth and fifth and at the end of 5 year period the amount due is 4200 rupees so either you can decide to pay at the end of the 5 year period an amount of 4200 or you can decide to pay an installment every year an equal installment so let's say the installment is rupees x so when you pay the installment annually basically you are avoiding the interest on that installment for the remaining of the years or in other terms that installment can be put into an account by the bank and they can gain the 10% simple interest for the remaining of the years so for example when you pay an installment of x rupees at the end of first year basically you are avoiding the interest on x rupees for the remainder of the four years similarly at the end of second year the installment that you're paying will help you avoid the interest to be paid for the next three years same thing for the installment paid at the end of third year and fourth year so basically the installment that you are paying plus the interest that you are avoiding or the same thing can be gained by the bank is equal to 4200 rupees so let's try to put an equation for this so at the end of first year suppose you paid back rupees x and the bank is gaining the interest on the x amount for the remainder of four years so the amount that you have paid actually amounts to x plus the interest for four years on a principle of x so x multiplied by r which is 10 multiplied by t which is 5 divided by 100 so here basically we are using the formula simple interest is equal to p r t by 100 so rate is 10 percent and time is five years i made a small mistake here so this should be four years because the total period is five years and the interest on the first installment will be for the remaining four years so x which is the principal multiplied by rate which is 10 percent multiplied by time which is four years divided by 100 plus now the installment that we are paying at the end of second year so x plus x multiplied by 10 multiplied by 3 divided by 100 plus x plus x multiplied by 10 multiplied by 2 divided by 100 plus x plus x multiplied by 10 multiplied by 1 divided by 100 so these equations take care of first second third and fourth installment for the fifth installment we are not saving anything so plus x 
and this whole expression is equal to for a 200 rupees so let's solve this for x x plus 10 fours are 40 40 x by 100 plus x plus 10 threes are 30 x by 100 plus x plus 10 twos are 20 plus x plus 10 x by 100 plus x is equal to 4200 or so we can cancel one zero here for all of these x plus 4x by 10 plus x plus 3x by 10 plus x plus 2x by 10 plus x plus x by 10 plus x is equal to 4200 so we can take an LCM of 10 so x multiplied by 10 10 x plus 4 x plus 10 x plus 3 x plus 10 x plus 2 x plus 10 x plus x plus 10 x is equal to 4200 or so let's add these so 10 plus 10 20 plus 10 30 plus 10 40 plus 10 50 50 plus 4 54 plus 3 57 plus 2 59 plus 1 60 so 60 x by 10 is equal to 4200 or x is equal to 4200 by 6 6 7 is 42 so or x is equal to 700 rupees so the annual installment comes out to rupees 700 now if you multiply 700 by 5 it is 3500 so basically we are paying 3500 and avoiding an interest of 4200 minus 3500 which is 700 rupees so this interest that we are avoiding or the bank can gain by depositing these installments for this interest rate is equal to 700 rupees